specification flow in DriveWorks can be a tricky beast to understand because there are a lot of interacting elements to it. However, broken down, each element is very simple. To help our customers better take advantage of this functionality, I am going to do a multi-part series on the topic. The first step is to understand the flow. What are the elements, and what do the arrows mean? What are the differences between the titles and the names? The default specification flow looks like this. In this tutorial, I'm going to start with a blank specification flow and begin by creating the simplest possible workflow, then expand upon it explaining each element as it is added. When the workflow is deleted, the following commands are available. States are required for a workflow, and there must be at least two of them, and one of them must be an initial state. The rest of the options here restore the default workflow or load an existing workflow from an exported one. Since two states are required for the minimum workflow, they can be added now. Start and finish are the names used to make the process clear. Notice that they are both pink. Pink is the color for a paused state. These are states that wait for user input. It can be changed by right-clicking. Set start to the initial state by right-clicking it and checking it off. Automatic will be dealt with in a future tutorial. Running states are where the transitions and operations are possible and the user can interact with the form itself. In the basic workflow, finish should be a pause state and start should be the initial state and a running state. 